Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Coding Together. My name is Vikas Oja. Today we will see another lead code problem that is rotting oranges. So it's a medium level question and it's a very popular question as you can see from the likes. So let's read the problem statement. You are given an M cross N grid where each cell can have one of the three values. 0 representing an empty cell, 1 representing a fresh orange or 2 representing a rotten orange. Every minute any fresh orange that is four directionally adjacent to a rotten orange becomes rotten. Return the minimum number of minutes that must elapse until no cell has a fresh orange. If this is impossible, return minus one. Let's see and uh, let's understand the question with an example. So in this example, we have a matrix that has oranges in the cells, right? So either the cell is an empty, so there is no orange, one representing it's a fresh orange and two representing it's a rotten orange so at minute zero means before counting start before starting the count of the minute at minute zero we have one rotten to, uh, orange in the first cell right so a fresh orange that is four directionally adjacent to a rotten orange it means if or a fresh orange has an adjacent rotten orange either left or up or right or down in any of the four direction if there is any rotten orange that orange in that particular cell will get rotten in that minute right so at minute zero we have this orange in the first cell as rotten in the minute one the adjacent two adjacent oranges this one and this one will get rotten at minute 2 this orange and this orange will get rotten minute 3 this orange will get rotten and minute 4 the this orange will get rotten so in minute in 4 minutes all the oranges all the fresh oranges will get rotten so let's see how we can solve this problem so we will use breadth first search algorithm to solve uh, this problem so I have taken the same example so at minute 0 this is the representation this matrix represents the status of the rotten fresh and empty cells so two representing the rotten orange one representing the fresh orange and empty cell represents the there is no orange in that cell so uh, also we are maintaining two variables that is fresh count and count fresh count maintains the count of the fresh oranges so at the start the number of fresh oranges we have is 6 and count maintains the count of the time as we are using BFS so we will use Q Q data structure so at the start right we will add into the Q the index of all those cells which have the rotten oranges so for this example we have only one cell that has the rotten orange that is at index 0 comma 0 so we have added 0 comma 0 in the queue so as the size of the queue is 1 we will poll we will iterate one times right and we will poll only one time from the queue that is 0 comma 0 so we will take we will go in the cell 0 comma 0 will go in four directions up down left and right because in the question it's mentioned that a orange can be rotten by the four directions up left right and down in any in, in any of the four directions if there is a rotten orange then that orange in the that particular cell can be made rotten so we will iterate in four directions so on the up and the left as we are out of grid so we will continue on the right and on the down so for the right we have a cell which has a fresh orange so we'll mark it as 2 on the down we have a cell which has a fresh orange so we'll mark it as 2 means we'll mark it as rotten right and we will add the indexes of these two cells in the queue so 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 will be added in the queue right also we have decremented we have made two fresh oranges rotten so we will decrement the count by 2 that is it will be 4 and as this is counted as one unit time right so in one unit time we have 
made two rotten oranges so we will increment the count as one now at minute one this is the picture right three rotten oranges now we will now as the size of the queue is two right so we will iterate two times right we will have iterated two times for 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 right so for 0 comma 1 right we will first pull we will pull the queue and we will get 0 comma 1 so at this cell on the right side we have a cell containing fresh orange so we'll mark it as 2 on the down we have a fresh orange we'll mark it as 2 right so again we have made two oranges rotten so we'll decrement the count by 2 and it will be 2 and we will add the indexes of these two cells in the queue so we will add 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 and 1 comma 1 right now uh, we are done with 0 comma 1 now we will do for 1 comma 0 right we will pull the next element so for 1 comma 0 for this cell so uh, up there is already a rotten orange so we'll return on the left side we are out of grid on the down there is no orange on the right there is already a, a rotten orange so we are also done with this index with this cell right so as we are done with the two cells for the count two so we will increment the count to two right so at time two at index uh, at instance two right at minute two we have this picture right we have these many rotten oranges now we will again see the size of the queue the size of the queue is again two right that is 0 comma 2 and 1 comma 1 are present in the queue so we'll poll so when we poll we'll get 0 comma 2 so we'll go and the index 0 comma 2 i this cell right so for this cell all the adjacent in four directions are already done or out of grid or empty cell so we are done for this we'll go 1 comma 1 so for 1 comma 1 we are at this cell so for at this cell on the up left and right right it's already done for the down there is a fresh orange so we'll mark it as 2 right and we will add this cell into the queue so we will add 2 comma 1 into the queue right so we we are done with both the cells right so we will increment the count to 3 also we have marked one fresh orange as rotten so we'll decrement the count to 1 right so at minute 3 we have this picture right so we will poll we will again see the uh, size of the queue so size of the queue is 1 right size of the queue is 1 on that is element 2 comma 1 so we'll go to the cell 2 comma 1 that is this one so for this cell up left down and right up left down it's already done right either there is already a rotten orange or empty or out of grid on the right we have a cell which has a fresh orange so we'll mark it as 2 right and we'll decrement the fresh count to 0 right there are no more fresh counts right and as the iteration as for this one is also done right so we'll increment the count to 4 and we will add this cell that is 2 comma 2 into the queue right but as the fresh count has become 0 right as the fresh count has become 0 so we will stop we will stop here we will return the number of counts so far because there is no point of moving ahead because all the fresh oranges have been converted into the rotten oranges count or the minute that it took to convert all the rotten uh, all the fresh oranges into the rotten images is 4 right so at minute 4 we have all the fresh oranges converted to uh, rotten oranges so let's see the code part for it so i have uh, defined a class solution i've initialized a static uh, direction array 2d array with up down left and right uh, x and y coordinates created a function orange rotate rotting that returns the count of the that returns the minute count and takes in the parameter the grid 
now we will uh, i have calculated the row and the column of the grid and initialize the count and fresh count as zero and uh, initialize the queue now iterating over each row and each column right for each cell right we will first check whether if the orange is rotten or not if the orange is rotten we'll add into the queue the index i comma j of that cell and if the orange in that cell is fresh we will increment the count of fresh count so after completion of this for loop right two for loops q will have the elements having all the rotten oranges and the fresh count will have the count of fresh oranges at the start now we will start our bfs approach so the usual when till will run till q is not empty we'll first check the q size we'll put into the size and we'll increment our time counter right and in this for loop we'll iterate from i equal to 0 till i less than size whatever the current size of the q is we'll iterate over all the elements or all the cells will pull from the queue and will get a point will get a cell which has a rotten orange and we will now iterate in the four directions up left right down will calculate the new coordinates x and y for the up left right down cells and we will check if x is less than 0 it means we are out of the grid or x greater than equal to grid dot length or y less than 0 or y greater than grid x dot length so these four conditions will bound will tell if we are out of the grid or not if we are out of the grid will continue or if the orange in the cell in the new cell that that the new cell we are exploring is a rotten already so we will continue uh, and if there is no orange in the cell we will continue otherwise we will mark the orange present in the cell right in the cell in the four directions up left right down we will mark the orange as rotten and we will add the index of that cell in the queue so that is what we did when we explored up left right and down so on the right and down we had the fresh oranges so we will mark it as two and we'll add, we added this those two uh, and we added the indexes of those two cells in the queue that is what we are doing and we will decrement the fresh count for the fresh orange found in any of the direction so we will run this for loop till the current size of the queue and and the while loop will run till the complete queue is empty and if the fresh count is equal equal to zero then we'll return count otherwise we'll return minus one if the fresh count is equal to zero it means all the fresh oranges have been rotten successfully and will return the count count of the minute otherwise if there is any orange that is left or is not uh, converted into rotten orange then we'll return minus one so let's run this solution so yes test cases are accepted it means the solution is working fine so let's talk about the time and space complexity so here we are running two for loops one for loop inside the other for loop so here the time complexity will be big o of n cross m where n is the row and m is the size of the column right and as we can see in the bfs or the for loop that will run will be in the worst case n cross m right because it can be the case at the start all the cells have the rotten image rotten oranges so at the start all the oranges of the cells are in the queue Right. So the Q dot uh, the size of the Q will be equal to n cross m in the worst case. And for each cell we are running in four directions, so it will be four cross m cross n. So the time complexity 
for the BFS will be 4 cross M cross N. So, so the total time complexity will be big O of M cross N plus big O of 4 cross M cross N which will be equivalent to big O of M 4 cross M cross N. Right. So and the t space complexity so as in the worst case the Q can contain maximum the all the rotten oranges in all the cells so the maximum size of the Q can be n cross m so space complexity will be big O of m cross n so I have you like this video if you like this video please share and subscribe it will keep me motivated to keep on going like this thanks bye